Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kimberly and I'm a part-time reseller on platforms like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari. I send things into ThreadUp and sometimes to the real real. And today we're doing another unboxing and you already know, it is a Goodwill Blue Box unboxing. Um, so yeah, here's my little thingy uh, and my receipt. And I just opened it. I'm filming this July 23rd <laughs> and I had taken advantage of their BOGO deal. I bought a bunch of them. Um, I bought two thrifty apparel boxes. So they're mixed boxes, 10 pieces per box. Um, they're $14.99 for 10 pieces plus $5 shipping. So when they do a BOGO, it ends up being like, what is it? It's $22.49 before shipping and then it's $5 shipping. Um, although sometimes it says 10 and it's really not. It's supposed to be $5 per box, but the last few times it just hasn't been. Um, so it was $27.49 for two boxes. Split in half, it's a great deal. I am going to show you what's in one of the boxes because I have not opened the other. We'll see. I might open the other on this. We'll, we'll find out. But let's go. Because I want to know what I got. Well, we're starting off with socks. These are the... Bay Box Invisible Socks 5-Pack. They're not invisible. Um, I don't, I, I, I don't know why they're called invisible. It says it's a 5-Pack, but I only see two, two socks here. Uh, maybe the other socks are invisible? <laughs> because it's not like there's any missing, it's not like there's like a ton that are missing from here either. I'm very confused. Well, all right. Okay, so it's a two pack of socks. It doesn't hurt. All right, next we have, what do we have? Oh, this is cute. This is Shane Justin, which I've never heard of. It is new at Tags and it's a size medium. Um, and it is a crop hoodie. It's a size medium, but it's a small medium. All right, so there's the hood. Um, here's the tag just in case. I think I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna put this into a, um, a box for Play-Dohs and see if Play-Dohs is interested. I have something else that's nude. This is Express Size Large and it is a, like, sheath dress. So here is that ruffle sleeve. It's a very pretty, basic dress. I like it. I'm, I don't mind listing dresses from Express. Although it may still end up in a box, a bag for Play-Doh to see if they want it. Uh, we have Forever 21 size medium large. And again, this is another, um, oh, this is actually a jumpsuit. Uh, it's like a ribbed jumpsuit. It has stretch. It's interesting. I've never seen anything like this. Again, this is probably going to go into the, the Play-Doh's box and see what happens. All right, we have a sweatshirt. Uh, we have a hoodie from Reebok, size large. Okay, so this is a Reebok hoodie. All right. um, that is really cool, that little like, like detail at the front. This is in really good condition, and I do like selling Reebok. I've, I've sold it. Um, all right. I'm not mad at that. I like that, actually. I, I will just probably list that myself. I don't think I'll put that in anywhere. This is Vince Camuto Petite Extra Small. It is a top. So it has, like, the netting at the top and then, like, a, uh, I don't know what you call that. I want to say houndstooth, but it's really not. It's long sleeve. It's almost like a sweater-like material. I will probably send this to thread up. Next, we have shorts. These are LL Bean Classic Fit Size 6 Regular. And they are just a nice pair of classic khaki shorts. Um, they seem to be in good condition. I don't see any like overly worn, you know, spots or anything. No rubbing, so that's good. Oh my, these are heavy. These are, I think these are men's maybe. Okay, um, 
These are Climacool Adidas, size extra large. Um, they say XL2, length plus two inches. Um, it says player ID nine. I think somebody wrote that in. These are, so they have the NBA logo and they're like the rip away pants, the tear away pants or whatever. They seem to be in really good condition. They also seem like they were some, like somebody wore these, like a player wore these. Cause like I said, they have a number in them, but they're in very good condition. I actually, I don't know. I'll either list those myself or I may bring them to Play-Doh's. Um, cause it's is men's and I don't do a lot of men's, but I like selling men's. I try. This is like an angel size extra large and they are pants. They're this really cool striped pant. Um, I've never heard of this brand before. Here's the tag, just in case. I actually really like the style of these pants, so I will probably list these. They do have like um, a belt and everything, which is really cool. They look like they're in really good condition. I'll probably list those myself. I may take them to Play-Doh, see if they buy them, but. Next we have uh, Moda International size medium, and it is a dress. It is a pretty red dress. It's a basic, but it has a nice little top detail. I don't know. I'll probably list it myself. <coughs> oh, excuse me. These boxes sometimes have like smells to them, like a lot of perfume smells. So, and then finally we have Nike dry fit size extra large. So that's awesome. And this is a polo shirt. It's a men's striped polo shirt. That's awesome. I'll definitely list that myself. And that's my box. All empty. Let's count how much, what, what all came in this box. Yeah, hold on one sec. Okay, so this box came with 10 pieces plus the socks for a total of 11 pieces. Um, this is probably the smallest in terms of what I've gotten in a box, but it had great pieces. Not gonna lie, I loved the um, the menswear in this box. It was great. Um, like, for me, although nothing would be like, oh my god, I will say that's some good bread and butter stuff. I loved the striped pants, even though they're not like a brand that I know. I'll definitely list those. Um, I loved the fact that I had a Nike dry fit polo shirt. Uh, definitely list that. Um, I like the Reebok sweatshirt. I even like those Adidas pants, although that's not necessarily something I would normally reach for. I think that would, that could be a good decent moneymaker. I, you know, at, let's see, um, math is hard. So hold on one sec. Uh, 2749 divided by two is so this box would be about thirteen dollars and seventy five cents each um, with the shipping. So at thirteen seventy five divided by eleven items because I'll include the socks because I'll probably put those in a Play-Doh's closet bag see if they want those. My cost of goods is a dollar twenty five a piece and at a dollar twenty five a piece I would actually have picked almost everything up even the like the Express and the um, Forever Twenty One is interesting enough that I might have picked it up. Um, but yeah. I'm, I'm really happy with this box. Um, and again, these are the thrifty apparel, so they're not really, they're only $14.99 for 10 pieces originally, plus the $5. So I think they're a good deal if you're looking for some inventory and you're looking for more bread and butter pieces. Um, I definitely think I'm going to make, a, I'm probably going to three to four time my money on this at least. So I'm really happy about that. I will, um, say that I recently unboxed a denim box that you guys I don't even know if I filmed it but they had Ed Hardy jeans in it that I listed at night and I sold the next morning so this stuff can be really good and I think it's worth it um so yeah so I'm just gonna unbox this one and then I'll probably film me unboxing the next one but I want to know what you thought of this box um, if you like this kind of content, consider giving this video a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of unboxing videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. I am going to have a ton of this kind of content for a while. Um, it was just, they're too good of deals, especially with the BOGO. So, all right, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.